Hi, today we're going to look up using pronumerals. Let's have a look at y equals 2x minus 5. Now the y and the x are unknown amount and they can also change or in other words they vary. So we call these variables and they're represented by pronumerals. They are letters and symbols and sometimes you might have seen them as theta when we represent angles. Let's revise another three words. Term. The word terms mean items. In this case, we have y is a term, 2x is a term, and minus 5 is a term. And these terms, as you can see, they can be numbers like minus 5, or they can be variables like y, or a mixture of the two. The word coefficient means the number in front of a variable. So it multiplies the variable. So in this case, we have 2 is a coefficient of x, and in front of y, there's an invisible 1. So 1 is the coefficient of y. Constant. What does constant mean? It means that it doesn't change. So it's just a number with no variable. So in this case, our constant is minus 5. Let's practice with this example. 1 plus a squared minus 2ab plus 2 third b squared. We can see that there are four terms. There's the 1, the a squared, the minus 2ab, and the 2 third b squared. Be very careful that you include the negative when you're writing down the term. There are three coefficients here because the 1 is not a variable, so it has no number in front of it. So we only have three terms that have variables. So the coefficient of a squared is 1, the coefficient of negative 2ab is minus 2, and the coefficient of b squared is 2 thirds. And lastly, there is only one constant, and that is 1. Let's practice substitution. Evaluate for x squared when x equals minus 3. Well, it looks almost correct here, but there's something not quite right. We should really use brackets, because as you can see, when we have x squared, we're substituting the x with the minus 3. So the whole of x is squared, not just the 3. If we didn't use brackets and we accidentally went 3 squared is 9, so it's minus 9, we would be incorrect. We should use brackets and it should be minus 3 times minus 3, which is positive 9. Let's try this one. Evaluate for x squared minus x for x equals 3 and x is minus 3. Let's do the easy one first and do the x equals 3. So x squared minus x, we write down the 3 wherever we see x. And then 3 squared is 9 and 9 minus 3 is 6. Now let's do minus 3. This time we will use brackets, like so. So negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3, which is positive 9, and minus minus 3 is positive 3. So we have 9 plus 3, which is 12. Evaluate square root of xy minus 15x for x equals negative 10 and y equals 5. So we write down the expression, and then for each of these variables, we're going to substitute it with what they've given us. So for x, we're going to substitute it with negative 10, and then the y, use brackets, we're going to substitute it with 5, and remember, when it's next to each other in brackets, it means multiply. Then we have the minus 15, and for x, again, it's negative 10. Negative 10 times 5 is negative 50, and negative 15 times negative 10 is positive 150. And negative 50 plus 150 is positive 100. And square root of that is just 10. Let's use substitution in a formula. A formula is just a maths rule. Find the area of a triangle that has base 10 centimeters and height 8 centimeters. Now we know the area of a triangle is A equals half base times height. And now we can substitute the base as 10 and the height as 8. So we have a equals half, and then b is the 10, and then the h is the 8. Now half times 10 is 5, and then 5 times 8 is 40. So it's 40 centimeters squared. You might see lots of formulas when you do science and other subjects where you're substituting values into them, such as when you're looking for the velocity or when you're looking for the area. All right, that's it for me today. Thank you for watching. See you next time.